As the days start getting longer, our hens start laying more, and I find that I have an abundance of eggs. And this is how I use some of those eggs up. I'm gonna batch make noodles, and I'm gonna mix them up here on the counter. I'm gonna use my KitchenAid noodle maker, and then I'm gonna put them out on a bread sack cloth to dry for several days, and then I'm gonna store them in the pantry. So I'm gonna get started. So I'm gonna do a double batch, but the recipe calls for three cups of flour, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of olive or vegetable oil, and five large eggs. So I'm gonna make my well. I like to put my salt in next. So once the eggs are no longer running, I move to my bench scraper and I start just folding and folding. So once these are good and dry and I put them in my pantry for storage, I keep them up to like six months, but I usually get them used up before. I like this noodle recipe for lasagna noodles. I use it for my homemade stroganoff, fettuccine, spaghetti. It's all incorporated now and I'm gonna cut it off into chunks and get it to go through my pasta press. Okay, so we're gonna start with this. This is going to, it's gonna roll out my pasta dough. And then we'll move to the fettuccine once, the fettuccine slicer, once I get it to the desired thickness. I'm gonna start on one and I'm gonna put it through three times and then I like to move to the number five. Just each time I just move once and you'll see how I do it as I move along. I keep my mixer on stir or number one. And I'm gonna keep flour handy. I'm gonna keep flour handy during this because if it starts sticking on here, I need to add extra flour. Otherwise you just get a gummy mess. So let's get started. All right, time to start pushing those rollers closer together. I'm gonna
Now that I've got it to the thickness I like, I'm gonna get ready to run them through my fettuccine cutter. But if you wanted to use these noodles for lasagna, which I do, uh, you would just cut them the length of your pan, roughly, and lay them flat to dry. Or if you had to stack them, put a little flour in between them. And then when you go to use them in your lasagna, just put them in the pan as you're making it. Do not pre-cook them. They cook up really quick and great in the oven. So I'm gonna get my fettuccine cutter out and I'm gonna start cutting fettuccine. Okay, so I've got my flour towel here and I'm gonna go ahead and throw some flour on it and then I'm gonna lay out my noodles and they're gonna dry I'm gonna check them like every day and kind of turn them make sure they're not sticking I'm also gonna cover them with another flour towel I'm just gonna cover it and like I said check it every day or so when they're good and dry I will just uh, put them in a bag some of them will break apart but this is about taste and quality um, somebody told me one time food doesn't have to be pretty it just it needs to taste good so and these cook up so quick uh, if you're going to make a pot of fettuccine or spaghetti even dried these will take maybe four minutes top compared to like store-bought um, and then when you go to eat them leftover it just there's nothing like it i hope that i made this look easy and showed you guys how we use our extra eggs around here. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.